This week's video, I wanted to show electrical testing. Flex probes, there's different, different things. But before I get started on that, I wanted to show a couple things really quick. So this is the multimeter I use. I've done a video on this. Um, it's just a Fluke 101. It's, I think, like 40, 50 bucks. I'll link the video I did, and I'll link it down on Amazon. It does not do amps, but it does everything else, AC volts, DC volts millivolts, ohms, continuity, hertz, all that stuff. The leads are kind of cheap, but for the price, you can buy a lead set. It's not that big of a deal. So that's the multimeter that I use. And then also, I do use a, a power probe. This is just a power probe three. Um, I got a really good deal on it. And this is the kit with the extension cable. And it's got the, um, the cigarette lighter port, I guess is what they're called, power port. But one thing that some people don't know is this is just a standard banana plug. You can see that. So you can use everything in these kits will plug right into here. And then you can use the power probe as with these. I, I've actually done that quite a few times. So then let me just set this stuff out of the way here and let me get into these kits here. I picked this kit up on eBay. So it was basically like two and a half kits. I added all the stuff in, all the stuff in this kit. I added, um, and I just took everything out of this kit and put it in this one. So the boxes look identical, but then this one says SPX Kentmore, and this one says SPX OTC. And then if you look at the labels in, inside, the labels are a little bit different. But then also, this box says Kentmore on it. This box I just found, when I worked in Hawaii, somebody left this box, it was just empty on my desk, and nobody claimed it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take it. I put my multimeter in it. But that's beside the point. So I don't know if OTC is now or Kentmore, or I don't know how that works. But if you look on Amazon for this kit, it says it's under the OTC part number. So this kit is kind of expensive to buy on Amazon. And I've also noticed that they're like four to six weeks out. The closest kit to find to this kit is the Mac kit. It does not come with the, um, the jumper wires, but the mat kit's also like four to six weeks out, so I don't know if they just make these custom or what, but just troll eBay, that's what I did, and I found this kit. It was a lot. If you're gonna get the John Deere kit or you work at John Deere, um, it's actually the Kentmore numbers. All these numbers, if you look at like Service Advisor and stuff, it'll give you a Flex Probe number, and it's the same as these Kentmore numbers, which is nice. So this kit has these, came with four of these. These are just banana connectors, um, just four different colors. And then what I really like about these is you can, you can stack them. So if you have like, if you need to make a T probe or something, I'll demonstrate that later, you can just stack them. And then set that aside. This kit also came with a test light, which has just a banana plug. So you can use these or you can use one of the connectors or you can use the clip, which is really nice. I don't use this all that much, but I have used it in the past. So then these are all kind of separated out. So see how some of these say SPX OTC. So what these this kit basically is, is it's it's a lot of different, it's not all, I mean I'm sure it's not all of them, but they're different electrical connectors. So male and female. So say you gotta connect, you gotta test a relay. So here's you figure out which one you need, and then this is probably the relay one. We'll focus. And then there's a male and there's a female. Nice thing about these style banana plugs is then you can plug into the back and you can plug the other end of this into your meter so you can watch what's going on in the circuit. So then there's all kinds of just different ones. Pretty much every time I need to test electrical connectors, I grab this kit. So there's little round ones, male and female. These ones are like those little square, whoops, you probably can't see that. Little square ones. There's uh, more flat, like spade style connectors. And then these are for weather packs. And then a lot of after treatment stuff uses these. So like if you need to test like an after treatment harness or something, they use these just a whole kit full of different ones. So here's a weather pack. So then let me get the weather pack, which I think is these orange ones. Let me show you how this works. So then this is the male. So then what you do is you find the right one and then it just plugs in. And then now you can test this connector. So there's also a female. There was a female, let me see. Here's a female one. So then if you want to test the other end of this, you can do that and then it just hooks right into your multimeter. This is a, I found this in my truck. It's just the cutoff part of a harness. This is the MTG. 
harness for uh, a John Deere. I think it's for an excavator. So you can just test. So here's this one. This is the J35616-16. And then you can just test it like that. If you want to test this harness, you can, you know, probe it. So check out this kit. Um, I did link it down from Amazon, but it is like $400 and it's four to six weeks out. So here's that Amazon listing. Notice it's under the OTC number, uh, 3587, $450. So here it says usually ships within four to five weeks. Here's a closer look at it. Closest one I found is this Mac one, but as you can see it says out of stock, but then the Ford Rotunda, I guess, I don't know how to say that, um, are made, look just like the OTC ones exactly too. And then this here is the Snap-on set, which is slightly different. It looks just like the Cat set. Um, it's just a little bit smaller, so that's a good option.